Pfizer's vaccine is almost at the doorstep. Tomorrow, an FDA committee will take the final step, a vote on emergency use authorization. Moderna's vaccine appears before the committee next week. If these vaccines are approved, you'll need to get two doses a few weeks apart. Could that complicate things logistically? And also, what happens if I get my first shot, but not my second one? Two doses is definitely an inconvenience and a significant limitation to the vaccine, but that's the nature of the current vaccine. We know that after one dose, only 56% or 60% of, of the people form some immunity. So there will be a significant portion of the population still without immunity. Dr. Nicholas Haddad, an infectious disease specialist with Central Michigan University, says you can't mix and match between Pfizer and Moderna's vaccinations because they're slightly different. Dr. Haddad says to really turn the pandemic on its head, around two-thirds of the population will need to vaccinate. Healthcare workers and long-term care residents will likely have priority, but is anyone not recommended to take the vaccine? This is not a live virus vaccine, but we do not have all the data needed to make an informed decision on them. The, the Society for Fetal Maternal Medicine did not disallow pregnant women from getting it. But so far, we do not have any firm information that, hey, somebody with low immunity or pregnancy are safe to administer the vaccines to. Otherwise, everybody else should be able to get the vaccine. He says people who've recently tested positive for COVID should wait a bit. Their immune systems naturally fend off the virus for a few months. If they have had COVID, wait for three or four months before they get the vaccine. By then, we are hoping that we will have more information on this particular uh, sector of, of people on what to tell them based on data. Keep in mind, if you vaccinate, you'll still need to wear a mask. Scott Walchek, WNEM TV5.